Have I really bought, reviewed and recommended a fake Barlow lens? I'm going to need your help on this one. Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, re recently I uh, uploaded a video, well, I'm saying recently, a few few months ago, I uploaded a video on uh, this uh, Barlow lens here, the Celestron 2 times Omni, I think that's how you pronounce it, Omni Barlow lens. And uh, this video has all come from a comment um, I got on that video um, saying um, it was something like uh, OM OMG, this Barlow is fake. All block capitals, exploration mark, exploration mark sort of thing. And um, I'm going to have to backtrack uh, the, the relevance of that in, in, in a minute. Um, and I went on and I was going to pin that comment um, on uh, th that actual video because uh, uh, that's important, because I had my doubts about this thing, and I'll tell you why they all arose later. Um, and I was going to pin his comment up on, on the channel and re-edit the video, you know, on the description and say, look, you know, you need to come to this video that I'm doing now, and uh, I'll explain something. And um, instead of pinning his comment, I deleted his comment. Uh, so if you happen to be the fella who uh, did write that on uh, and happen to be watching this, uh, please leave me another comment. Uh, I'd love to have a chat with you and find out where you actually found that information from. One of my aims for this channel is to uh, buy budget equipment, astronomy equipment, review it and see if it's any good, okay? And then, you know, to save you lovely people from spending your own money and wasting your money on it, you know what I mean? And I can tell you whether it's, if it's any good or, or not. And the Celestron Barlow, the, the, the Omni Barlow, was a, was a prime target for me, you know what I mean? I bought it purely for the channel. I thought, well, that's, a, that's great for the channel. It's, I mean, there wasn't anywhere I went on any forum or on Stargazer's Lounge, um, anybody that was selling it, you know, like, um, I think it's either Rother Valley, <laughs> Rother Valley, <laughs> Rother Valley Optics, uh, Optics, oh, I can't even speak today. <laughs> It was either Rother Valley Optics or uh, First Light Optics, um, as I tried, and there was um, and, and really good reviews throughout. You know, saying, "Oh, it's it's um, it's a lot better than what you'd expect for the money," and and this, that, and other. So I thought, well, this is perfect for my channel. So this is why I bought. Um, I went on and bought this, and thought, you know, it's, it's going to be a good recommend. Now. When I bought this or went to buy this, it was when all the COVID kicked off. Well, it, well, it's, it's like when it were peaking, actually. And I just couldn't get it anywhere from any of the suppliers uh, that I would usually buy from. Um, and I, I really wanted to get one for the video. And so my last resort was eBay. And I finished up going on eBay and uh, purchasing this from China, okay? Now, in that video, I do sound a little bit hypocritical because I go on preaching about, um, you know, you should always buy from uh, telescope, you know, reputable telescope suppliers. Uh, you know, I would avoid going to eBay and places like that. And then in the next shot, I'm um, <laughs> on eBay showing where I bought my uh, imported uh, bio lens from. And, and it was purely because, but I didn't explain in that video, the reason why I did that was because of the COVID um, outbreak and I just couldn't get it anywhere else. Now, the, the Barlow I wanted originally and the one I'd seen and read about was this one, okay? And it, it, there is um, an instant <laughs> sort of uh, deliberate obvious difference between the two uh, as soon as you first look at it. Now I was aware of this okay and I am talking about obviously this uh, this lens cell here. Now I was looking for this one because it just looks nicer. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying? It looks nicer. So when I went on eBay looking for this particular Barlow a lot of pictures of these came up. And to be honest with you, I don't know whether it's because, I don't know, I'm uh, naive or stupid or what. I just thought, you know, maybe it's a 
different model of it. You know, they've like kind of, I mean, these things do change. Eyepieces slightly change throughout the years, you know what I mean? And uh, I thought, well, this is just maybe how they're making them at the minute, like sort of thing. I didn't, didn't really think anything of it. But I carried on hunting for this particular one. And I found a supplier that was selling this particular one for a reasonable price. I think it, I just paid over £20 for it. Um, but when it arrived and I unwrapped it, um, it was this one, uh, the one with the black um, uh, lens, if you like, okay, on, on the end here. Um, and like I say, I wasn't really suspicious about it, especially when I, uh, un I mean, when I unboxed it, I mean, you can go and watch the video. I will leave a link in the description of the video. Uh, of the video. Obviously, that was the first time I saw it. So when I actually lifted the box and saw this black end, this tip, I, you know, inside, I was a little bit disappointed because I, I was, you know, hoping it was going to be the, the, uh, the nice uh, silver one. Uh, but like I say, I, I wasn't thinking fake in any shape or form and i'll show you why uh well i'm going to show you this in a little bit more detail uh because well if there is such a good uh, thing as a good fake this is a damn good fake okay um i mean uh it it, it performs <laughs> really really well and i'm a little bit confused whether it is actually fake now i've i've not actually heard this from Celestron or anything like that, you know what I mean? And I have done recent searches on this, you know, I've, I've simply searched fake Celestron Barlow Omni, you know, I've, I've put the full full title in and it's just come up with nothing. So um, I, it's, it's a bit of a mystery. Now, there's still a few things really puzzling me with this. Um, it's, you see, the thing is, these have been sold for about 20 pounds now the barlow anyway is round about 20 to 30 pounds okay and if this was fake this is where I'm, I'm, I'm just scratching my head over it they would have they wouldn't have put i wouldn't have thought i may be completely wrong on this as much effort into the optics of uh, of what they have done with this one now, this is what I mean by the optics. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not paying for the tube, are you? You are, you, 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 you're paying for the, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for the lens. Now, this is the difference. Now, let me just show you something. This is a cheap lens out of a cheap Barlow, basically. Now, this is what I'd expect to be in this if it was a fake, okay? Um... And what you'll see here, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, this is just a single element lens, okay? There's no coatings on it or anything like that. It's just a bog standard. It is glass, I mean, I'll give it that. But it's just a single element Barlow lens. And these are usually what's in your uh, Barlow lens that's provided with your telescope, okay? And now of course me being me i am um, i have actually dismantled this because this this has been uh, bugging me now you know what i mean i'm like i need i need to have a look at the optics on this um a little bit more closely so i have taken the optics out and here it is now uh, it does claim the Celestra anomaly does claim to be fully multi-coated and it does claim to be a double uh, element um, optic and if, as you can see this is a cemented double, okay? Um, and the other thing is, it is multi-coated. Now, as far as I'm aware, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, I'm sure that green coatings are something like nine layers and purple coatings are something like, I think it's six. Now, I might be wrong on that. Um, so I've just put my fingers all over that. So that looks like it's going to be need cleaning. <laughs> but yeah, so you see what I'm saying? And not only that, I must point something else out. This also came with blackened edges. Now, 
that's another thing that's got me scratching my heads. Now, you usually only get blackened edges on uh, better quality equipment, uh, especially in eyepieces and things like that. Now, don't be fooled by this cheap one I've just showed you, thinking, oh, well, that's got blackened edges, because I have did that. I did that years ago with a black Sharpie, okay? And the reason why you have blackened edges on uh, on, on lenses, it's, it's, it's to do with, uh, it, it helps reduce how light scatters through the lens. Um, that's to put it in layman's terms anyway um, so yeah it's got fully uh, blackened edges uh, fully coated I mean at the end of the day this is what you're paying for okay I mean well the vast uh, part of the money that you're paying for in any Barlow or eyepiece is the glass that's in it and as you can see for a fake you know I mean why go to all that trouble um, it, it it's I don't know, it's just got me scratching my head. Um, I'd, I'd love to know what you people think of this one, uh, because uh, I, I just don't know what to think, fake or not fake. Now, as you can see, optically, at first glance, it ticks all the boxes. Now, and, you know, visually, I mean, I, I haven't used it much, but I have used it, and, you know, I didn't think anything of it, uh, really. Um, but if... I'd, if I put the two Barlow side by side, you can really see a difference here now. All right, now, it's, it's a completely different shape. Uh, it's not just, I mean, if we, if we look at the barrel, uh, the, the barrel part, that, that's different now. As you can see, this has got this uh, little safety dimple in it. I can't think of what you call those, but it's, it's supposed to, uh, you know, give it a... a a better grip if you like in the uh, focuser but you can you can see there is a difference i mean am i being silly is this you know um uh, a new model if you like i'm trying to think you know uh, mark two of this and they've just done away with the um uh, the the end sort of thing and there's a, just a rumor going around that these are fake so what do you think fake or genuine i would love to know your opinion in the comments below well that's about it for this one uh please watch what you buy out there folks until the next time take care bye for now